Hey guys, welcome to Gearheads. So, today we're gonna go ahead and install a lip, like he's shown here, on Matt's Miata, and we're gonna go ahead and compare it somewhat to the install that we did on the Garageberry style lip on my Miata. Now, uh, when we did it on my Miata, it's just the eBay GV style, which is, stands for Garageberry, and uh, the install was actually very easy, though I would not recommend using the hardware that they send you. I would definitely recommend going to the hardware store, getting some thicker bolts and washers and drilling out the holes and installing it that way. So we can talk about that a little bit later in this video, but for now, we've got this lip. We're gonna go ahead and install it real quick. We'll cover just, you know, kind of what we're going through real fast and uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. And we'll compare them at the end and see how the install process was on both of them and see how they look, which is obviously gonna be subjective because I picked that one because I liked it. And, and I picked this one because I liked it. Exactly, so let's see how it goes and let's get started. Woo. So when we put the GV lip style one on my car, it came with these really crappy screws to hold it in. It just attaches the bottom of the lip to the bumper and they're terrible. I went to my local hardware store and I got some better bolts and had some washers to attach it and I haven't had a single problem since then. The fact that the bumper itself was, or not bumper, sorry, the lip, it was only, what, 40 bucks or so. It was a great deal and I was happy with it, but it's a different style than the one Matt got. That being said, Matt got these ones, which are much better in quality, it seems like. <laughs> these seem like they can actually, you can actually install them and they can actually work well. Anyways, uh, if, if your hardware isn't very good, you know, I don't know because you'll probably buy it from different places. You got this from what, Amazon? Amazon. Okay, yeah, and a lot of people get these from eBay. So who knows what hardware you're gonna get when you get the part itself. Uh, but most of the actual lips themselves are made in the same spot, whatever random factory in another country that made them. And like I said, mine was the GV style. This is the R package lip style, which is supposed to emulate the, the uh, stock R package lip that came on some of the early 90s Miatas. We're gonna go ahead and install it. If there's any important differences in the installation process, we'll show you guys. And otherwise, go check out the other video that we did installing it because it should be pretty dang close and we already did a how-to on it. So let's get started with this one and we'll see what the differences are and see how they both look when they're done. Okay, so. Pretty low profile. Yeah, and we can see that on the right, it's gonna need to be kind of stretched up to fit there, just like the GV style when we installed them in mine was. And it's the same on the right side, but then show them these parts that go in the middle, Matt. These things, I'm not sure. No, I'll be completely honest. How they're supposed to go. I can't find a way they fit where they make sense because lift, lift the uh, lip back up. Well, if we put this guy on here, which makes sense because these things... Okay, but then show them the angle on the camera. See how it lifts up above it? it th that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can that see right sense. there. That makes sense, and that's pretty much how I've seen all the R package lips look on any Miata I've seen installed. I don't know what these but two pieces this are. piece to go on, to go on like this? Like this? I don't know, dude. I think it goes on like that, maybe? Maybe it's supposed to, but I mean. But it doesn't fit in here anymore. Well, I know, once you lift well, it up into place, it's not necessary, so I don't get the point. I don't either. Maybe we're just dumb, but at least to me, it doesn't make sense. I think we should just install the lip without it. Yeah. So the most important part of installing these lips, I guess, because this is the same problem we ran into on this R package style one and the GV style one we got from eBay from my car, is these things are formed out of polyurethane and they're formed pretty well, but they don't fit the bumper perfectly. So what you're gonna need to do, it's really helpful to have two people because you can have somebody hold the bumper and someone else hold the lip and then the whole way around where you're drilling and installing the screw or bolts to hold them in, you just wanna have someone hold and match up all the way around so that it looks nice and even the whole way. Because otherwise, if you just use the holes that they give you, you're gonna end up having space in between the, the lip and the bumper here, and it doesn't look that great. But otherwise, 
I mean, it's it's definitely worth it for a $40 or $50 product if you want a little lip on the front of your car. They look good and they're easy to install. Like I said though, I would just recommend using some better hardware. In fact, Matt's actually came with better hardware than mine came with, which is great. He got his from Amazon. I got mine from eBay. I don't know. But uh, two people holding the whole way around, so that means I pull the bumper forward and push the lip back a bit just to get it to line up the whole way and it installed actually pretty clean that way. So let's go ahead and see what they both look like compared to each other. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as you can see, that was a super easy process. It was just as easy on Jesse's car yeah. as it was on mine. Um, obviously, you're going to get a little bit of difference between the hardware you get and the piece itself, the way that it's molded. There's going to be a little bit of a difference uh, between which part you actually buy. Uh, but, you know, I'm super excited for the crazy amount of downforce that I'm going to get from this $25 China part. Yeah, so, you're going to be beating the F1 cars now. You go so fast. <laughs> Either way, if you want a better how-to, check our other video out. I think this kind of showed you at least that one, and it shows a little bit of a difference between at least what they both look like when they're installed. And yeah, so that's it pretty much. I don't have anything else to say. All right, you guys, don't forget to uh, continue to follow us on Facebook. We love interacting with you guys, as well yeah. as on Instagram, as well as these YouTube videos. If you have any questions or cannot decide on which lip you want to buy, go ahead and drop a comment, ask us questions. We love getting back to you guys. Uh, other than that, don't forget, keep, keep wrenching! wrenching.